more top stories before you go this morning. The investigation continues into that deadly shooting on the I-29 Speedway. Investigators say a concert was just getting started when that shooting broke out. Both of the victims are from Omaha. Authorities are looking for at least three people in connection with this incident. And the FBI is asking for help in finding a missing teen. She is from Arizona, but the case does have a connection to Iowa. 17-year-old Liliana Munguia left Arizona for Des Moines to meet a person she had met online. If you do know anything about this, call the number you see there on your screen. We also have it up on our website. Well, Omaha Public Works will give an update on progress of the curbside debris collections today. It's expected to take three weeks or longer to clean up all the debris. Now, if you live on a Douglas County road, curbside collection also begins today. Debris should be placed as close to the curb as possible. And Bellevue will also start picking up tree debris. Collection runs through Friday. Branches should be no more than six feet in length. You're asked to place it within 12 feet of the curb by no later than seven in the morning. The city plans to go through each neighborhood just one time. Nebraska lawmakers are expected to begin debating the latest version of Governor Jim Pillen's plan to lower property taxes. An advocacy group for DoorDash says it delivered more than 31,000 letters from small business owners opposing his plan. It includes an additional 2% tax on deliveries. The increase would leave Nebraska with some of the highest delivery taxes nationwide. And more news this morning from the alert desk before you go. Several federal agencies are working to make it easier for you to click unsubscribe on memberships and payments that you don't want. The new initiative is called Time is Money, and it includes new regulations and an FCC inquiry into imposing requirements on communication companies that would make it as easy to cancel a subscription as it is to sign up for one. This comes after several other initiatives focusing on improving customers Customer experiences, like a proposed rule to ban hidden junk fees on concert tickets and hotel rooms. Aaron. Right, Maria, thanks. As the Paris games wrap up, let's take a look at the final medal count. The U.S. finishes with 126 medals, including 40 gold, tying China for the most. And China finished second in the total medal count with 91. Great Britain and France finished third and fourth with 65 and 64, respectively. Good job to everybody. <laughs>